Let's get another draw from the Arcane deck. Second copy of the Elementals Dojo. When a student is at least level 3 in Demonology, we have a Demonic Chamber. And at least level 2 in Portal Magic, we have Portal Magic. They receive the Sign of the Eldest. When they receive a future, the Lord of Evil is repelled by 1%. Boom. Get that. Get that. 100%. Uh, another draw from the Arcane deck immediately. Another copy of the Elementals Dojo up against an active Crystal Ball. Active teachers in this room have a chance of gaining a, uh, getting rid of the negative trait. Look, it is good. Definitely good. But... Counselor's office. Students may gain access to an extra choice of future when graduating if they spend time with a career counselor. I actually think I do want the counselor's office, but I want it in the future. I don't want it right now. Positive rep with LOE and slowing the LOE. Yeah. I want the Lord of Evil to invade as late as possible, regardless of whether or not I'm friends with them. Because they still destroy my school. I'll get the counselor's office when I'm no longer just making exclusively Undertakers. I'm gonna get the Chris Elementals Dojo. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Chris Elementals Dojo. Uh, let's have a tournament. So students who duel will learn 50% faster, but lose some health. Get a Shadow Deck draw. Coffin. Students who sleep there have a chance of becoming vampires. Okay. I'm gonna go to the Inquisition, say here's some heretical artifacts. They're now going to like me. I get plus 25 with them, and hopefully that's enough to stop them asking for tithes constantly, because I cannot. I cannot. It's too much tithing. Necro staff. When a student has at least level 2 in necromancy, they will produce a necro staff. They produce 20% more shadow mana. Take that. Psy hot. Wait. Whoa. Psychotic Kevl. Enjoy your moments in Jan. Welcome to the Republic. Thank you for the Prime subscription. One light tech draw here. Weapons rack. Active students in the room increase their assassination and retribution skills, but it's like very slightly. I could make active characters good and make them learn light magic faster. I'm going to do neither of those. Instead, I'll go for the priesthood, permanently improve a teacher. That teacher is no longer ever hungry nor tired. And now I'm going to quickly find the teacher who is, you are, you get hungry faster and your hunger lowers faster. Or maybe it doesn't, ever. It's okay, I have, I have prison. You are kidding me. Our kid bothers us much less when he's at your school than when he is at home. Could you make sure he doesn't come home too often? The thing is... I mean, I thought that I would like the kid, but it turns out he's a lot like me and my wife, and uh, we suck! Uh, there's nothing I can do. He's probably gonna go home because he likes you, somehow. Is it possible to make a demonic pacted teacher a priest? No, you can only permanently improve them once. Uh, with things like that. Uh, we'll see when I get another one. I'll try and drag it over the two that we already have improved in that way. Eh. Temporal magic skills. I guess I can just pop that into that other room. Into the temporal magic room. Makes sense. Helps him specialize a bit. Shadow Disciple! Ah, it's an Undertaker. Oh, look, it's an Undertaker. Oh, damn, that's an Undertaker. Good undertaking, moms. It's working well. Arcane deck draws us another Elementalist Dojo. Now we can finally level that up to regulated betting, get a little bit more gold income. We don't really use that that kind of, like, the Keck stuff here. One seven x Appreciate it if you would. How close are we to the Undertaker quest completion? Just under half. I think we've developed maybe eight of them. A dumb worker in Stephanie Napel. Fine, you can go into Ephesus of Flail right now. Catch you around, Aladia. Thank you very much for tuning in. Mm, you're Ephesus of Flail student right there. Audrey Tiamo, also. Yeah, it is seven. Well counted, Kekov. Seekov, Seekov. I don't know. Kekov, every single time. Seechoff as well. 
What's the science? How many years they will study? Uh, just their spawn decide that. It's just one of their their basic spawns. One of their basic spawn stats. I'm gonna go to the local cemetery and see if I can get some vampires. Hell yeah! Our school is perfectly equipped to welcome noble vampires. Gimme! Uh, brilliant! Comical Steadfast, you're a Mephisto kitten. Jack all trades, worker, you're an F is for flail. Smart, well-behaved, chosen by the light, Mephisto's kitten. Chosen by the light, normal, down to earth, F is for flail. Smart jack of all trades? That's a kitten. Ooh, Shadow Disciple Worker? As well as being a vampire? You better believe you're a kitten. Passionate, well behaved? That's a kitten material right there. Ambitious Worker, steadfast, who is smart? You might as well be a kitten about that one. An Arcane Scholar Worker. If I put them in F is for Flail, which I will do, they get level 2 Arcane Scholar and level 2 Worker. So they get 50% extra for their Arcane Magic and 20% extra for all. Steadfast, Light Sleeper, and Courageous. You're also F is for Flail. Uh, let's also pull from the Shadow deck here. Ritual Components. Active teachers in this room have a chance of creating component cards. Perfect. actually gonna pop that in here for the moment. I'm trying to get a couple more components so that I can actually make something. Because currently we really can't. I've got some cards in hand that I can discard for you, Inquisition, if you ask me to. You like me! Why are you doing this still? You might like me, but I don't like you back. I'm gonna get the final copy of the Elemental Stojo so that I can have tournament and regulated betting both live. Let's have also a look at the meta for students' health. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm losing students, so I think we're okay on that. Their tiredness is spiking hard, though. Should have to keep an eye on that. Little bit more in the arcane deck, thank you. Arcane amulet. Uh, generation of more arcane mana, definitely. Uh, active characters in this room get speed X, speeding up all of their activities by 25%, but also the growth rate of their needs. The growth rate of uh, our needs actually grows really quickly at the moment because of the, uh, the curses that we have and all of that kind of stuff, so I'm going to take the arcane amulet. I only need one copy of that arcane amulet this entire game as well. We are almost certainly going to complete all of our quests. Yo, check why people are leaving. That seems to be more telling the averages. Why they're leaving? Uh, I mean... Talisia is leaving because of health. I think. Why they're leaving? Is there like a screen that'll tell me why they're leaving? Or that kind of stuff. You've got low sanity. Everyone else is kind of complaining about different things. I don't think I have any students that are like leaving the school as in like not coming back. You have to watch them leave, it's kind of bad. Okay, you're leaving because low sanity? Ah, you have an aberration of a tentacle. Lose the sanity over time. Hmm, okay. We might need an infirmary at some point. We're definitely going to want something for sanity at some point as well. Alright. Another janitor lodge. Grotesque statue. High chance of being deep folk. I'm going to take another janitor lodge. Like out here, maybe? I'm just trying to have enough of them such that the efficiency of my rooms never drops as hard as it currently is. Uh, 
inspiring, steadfast, relaxed, greedy. We don't want you to be greedy. Punctual had the contract. act. That's fine. Above the portal room does make a bit of sense, but here it allows me to start building out towards this as well with one size here and then start building down. It's This is really hard to build around because it's locked on this side and it's also locked on that side. So I really want this to be accessible from two directions. Ooh, park of it. We get our first potion. It's a destructive potion. Greatly injures all attackers. I'm fine with that. Honestly, I feel like I'm probably going to have some attackers, and they may be villagers at some point as well. Uh, let's check on in with y'all. I could get some vampires. Hypercontract, smart wealthy, smart down to earth. Sure, that means you go in there as well. Work a shifty down to earth. Unfortunately, because you're down to earth, you really go in the general class out of any because you don't want to be an arcane scholar and you don't want to prioritize in that direction. Worker allergic to crustaceans. You are an efforts for flail student. Could we get an extension on the tax? Could we pay the tax? We'll pay. I think I'm just going to pay that. Uh, my gold is really bad. That's why I keep inviting as many students into the school as I possibly can. Their income, baby. Looks like Crustacean's beautiful, courageous. Sure, you go there. That's all fine. For the moment, at the absolute least. Let's have a, another look at the statistic graphs. Okay, the tiredness has come way back down. Glad to see it. Was, was a bit threatened about that at the time. No one seems to be ridiculously low in their sanity anymore. All the beds aren't full at any time. The refectory is full a lot of the time at the moment, though. Is it all of my vampires? No, it's not. They're not vampires, necessarily. So you're all leaving because you're tired. But the beds aren't full. What? The dormitories are free as well. Someone may have claimed... Wait, they claim beds? I thought they all shared beds. I... Are you sure they claim beds? It wouldn't make sense for there to be a bed that's like the coffin, though, because of that. Because you'd have to move the coffin constantly for anyone new to be affected by it. Might be about whether the beds are full at sunrise. Yeah, but not all of these are vampires, is the thing. That'd make sense if they were vampires, maybe, but they aren't all. Okay. Lord of the Demonic Plains! Look at this! We could have gotten Benedict L. Warners to be Lord of the Demonic Plains? I'll accept that fate. Clockwinder? Thank you. Undertaker, 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 Undertaker. Nice. They don't claim beds, but someone might already be headed for the specific bed. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, that would make more sense. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the beds are relatively filled at the moment. Okay, let's get some more beds. Uh, that means I'm going to need to get some more money, and money is hard for us. Demonic horns! At least uh, level 3 in demonology, they deal twice as much damage in combat. We are going to have combat come up relatively soon. We're in year 5. This actually, well, this isn't going to be it, but relatively soon we're going to have someone come to us and say, Hey, it's time to go and do stuff. Nothing to do about that. Your kid is awful because you are. Laura Nadek, you are efforts of flail material. Arthur Chauffleur. Is that like, is that a reference to Meet the Spy? Like, my little Chauffleur? 
Maybe you should go talk to the Din. I'm waiting until I get 900 in Arcane, and then I'm gonna go do it. Ma petite chauffeur. Sure. Your is gonna be ma petite. <laughs> You're a worker. <laughs> I think it's just French. Yeah, but the, well, sure. But the why would they randomly reference uh, chauffeur, which is like French for cauliflower, I think. Um, maybe I wait until I get nine hundred before I even send this out. Sure. A dungeon for the guild! Ah, okay, so we can literally access any of them if we'd like. Uh, why not? This will give our students a chance to get some air. I'm assuming this is more related to the natural sciences. Very well if you found a place with a link to magic. That sounds right for us. It's a French game, right? Might be a more common phrase for them. That's true. It's just the fact that like a lot of the names auto-generated uh, possibilities, right? A lot of the names that are seeded to be auto-generated after the fact are references to things. So I'm, I'm primed to look for references. Okay, let's go see the djinn. Ah, the mortal mage. Pleasure making your acquaintance. I hope you've come with loads of raw magic, so it's necessary for the granting of wishes. And some wild magic, too. Shadow and light don't work for us. They're too... human. Bit of forewarning would have been nice, but... Oh, it's 750. Good. 750. Well, what do you need? Love, or at least friendship. Wealth, wisdom, power. I'm 100% wealth. Need money. Give me money. Wealth? No, sadly, we cannot generate gold. This is among the rare things we cannot do. But I can give you some advice. True wealth is in our hearts. I can also give you a few trinkets that you may gain wealth through through your own means. Uh, aquarium. Active characters in this room generate gold. Perfect, because we already have a lot of active characters in this room generating gold with regulated. I mean, you're a pet, though. You wouldn't fit in there. Yeah, that wouldn't even work. Uh, canopy bed. Characters who lose in this, uh, or sleep in this bed lose tightness much faster and give some gold to the school. Canopy bed goes canopy right there. Uh, and Pegasus, we just need you to start wandering about, so we'll put you there. Pegasus is just going to encounter students and make them richer. Alright. One more Shadow Disciple from Mephisto's Kittens. Pull another card from the shadow deck. Oh, another black dragon? No, I don't have slots for it. I just don't have slots for it. Uh, Infernal Spellbook. Chaotic students learn 30%, uh, sorry, 20% faster. And then if we get the second level, we can get Summoning Forbidden, which I'd be happy to do. We only need four more Undertakers at this point. Doesn't seem like too difficult an undertaking. I'm going to make that joke every single time. Get ready. Your hand is requiring some hand imposition. I'll give you 50 of my light mana because I don't really use that and get 15 allegiance with you. Look how fast your money is going up all of a sudden. Yep. It's doing good. Arcane Skull a bit slow. F is for Flail, right there. Sleeper's Soul. I can't put two of those in. Let's sell this one. It's fine. And I'll pull a gain from... Whoa, the purple dragon wanders around the school. Anyone who encounters it learns Arcane Magic more effectively for a few minutes. I do want to get this one as well and then put that over in this wing. Uh, honestly, it'll travel the whole school, so it really matter. 25% faster for the portal room is also relatively good. I don't have any space for it at the moment. I would then be looking for space after the fact. I'm just going to accept that. Unicorn Horn gives us a Philosopher's Stone! 300 gold! Thank you! Uh, Not what I was looking for. 
but I will happily take a second refectory. Pop it up the other dorm. Perfect. Do I really want more students again? Maybe I hold off until I get 750 arcane mana and go back to them. Aesthetic Arcane Scholar, Ephesus for Flail, Clockmaker. 100 mana, 100 arcane mana, 100 gold. That's one of the best things they can become, so yeah. Totally accept that. <laughs> Do I want to re-roll for them to be dead? Get out. 17th Undertaker. This is enough to go back to the Wish Altar. I have some arcane. I don't need any more wealth. Love. Love? Friendship? Sadly, these are among the rare things that... Can you do anything? Rare things that we Jin cannot control. But I can give you some advice. What am I... What am I doing? I asked for wishes, not advice, you nerd. It is the small things, the thoughtful gifts, the small gestures that sustain a loving relationship. Oh, true. I can also give you a few drinks to help you out. Huh. All right. Or... Huh. Thank you. So I can get an Inquisition banner and Clan banner, or I get Evil banner and Guild banner. I'm getting the Pig Chamber regardless. Pig Chamber wants to be built up like really, really high because I can't build directly above it easily. What if I just built it there? No, it needs one blank space above itself. But, like, this room's going to be kind of blank anyway. Hmm. I'm going to get two evil banners in the same room. I'm hoping that they actually both work. I'm going to guild banner in this one. All right, Pig Chamber, I actually do think you just go over here. One more pull from the shadow deck. Devermi Tentaculi. Non-humans, elves, vampires, werewolves, deep folks, and half-orc working in this room improve in magic disciplines they already know. There's also demon tapestry, improving their demonology skills. I really want the demon tapestry, but this seems rarer. I'm going to take uh, Devermi Tentaculi, and then I'm going to put that in the adjacency bo uh, boosting room. Take another draw from the standard. Oh, come on! I think I'm going to take a refectory and upgrade this. Get its efficiency slightly higher and start moving it towards the ability to give us a uh, reputation with peasants to try and offset the negatives we have there. I have a lot of vampires. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's the big uh, impetus behind taking Devermi Tentaculi there. Here's some new manuals for 100 gold. You get us a spell book. That spell book can go there. Just giving them errant specializations. All right, the next thing I may do actually is probably going to be going out on the quest, I think. Our arcane specialist is going quite well. Undertaker obviously going quite well. Yeah. Seems like the right driver is passionate. Arcane scholar and worker. That's an effort for flair right there. Can you also recycle those potions? Yes, I can. For 30 shadow mana, which is the one that I generate very quickly, though. Wild Breastplate. I don't have any druidism, so this isn't going to happen. Uh, I could lower the requirement for demonic horns, and I think I will. This academy looks a lot cleaner than the one from last night. It's going to happen like that consistently, right? Every single academy, I'm going to learn more. Uh, like... I Every single time I play a game like this, I get to the end of my first run, and I I end up just constantly gestating on the ideas of, for the, like, the next month of all of the things that I could have done that would make it a lot better. So now I'm back to do those things. Nature Room, Private Department, School's Coat of Arms. Generating a bit of prestige. I think I'm going to go another private apartment, though. 
Actually, do I want to sh spread this private apartment? Yep. Yep, I think I do. And I want to go out on my missions, so I'm going to pull from the arcane deck instead of waiting on that. Interdimensional room, temporal room. There's also, uh, while teaching, this teacher generates a large quantity of his discipline's mana. His. Uh, let's go with the interdimensional room, I think. I want to get this to give demonology as quickly as I can. And then it's time for a mission. Willow the Wisp, you seem like you're in a good position here. Gain all, sorry, increase all mana and gold gains in the dungeon by 30%. You have an offensive spell that inflicts three damage to two different enemies. You've life drain. I do want like everyone here just to have like really high life drain, if possible. Like at least our front lane, uh, front line should be life drain. After acting, gives the other student in the row a 40% chance of acting immediately. I have nothing defensive, really. Increases damage dealt to monsters, increases damage dealt to monsters, but those are on quite low characters. Kimmy Schmidt? You've got really low passives. Hmm. Hmm. Life Drain is really powerful, it's just do I want it in the back line on Kyle? Maybe not. I'm gonna change your spell. All right, start this dungeon. Ooh, one of your students shivers and hears a whisper. Says they felt a sudden cold. We do have eight points in necromancy, so we could ask the ghosts what they want. Uh, we have 30 with the uh, the Adventurer's Guild, so we could fight them in order to get a window to another world. I'm going to ask them what they want. An Adventurer's Ghost appears. She explains she was killed in the dungeon by a demon, but her soul remained trapped. She may have unresolved issues on this plane. We'll find your body and bring it to your family. Ugh. I mean, it's plus 10 with the Adventurer's Guild and the peasants, which is nice. Uh, will avenge you, that should soothe you. A level one demon prince? We have no retribution, so we're not gonna be able to do that. Maybe if we, maybe she'll go away if we kill her again. Uh, like chains I don't really want. I also don't really want shadow mana. Like those are easy for me to get. These are harder for me to get. Adventurer's Guild and, and uh, factional allegiance with peasants. Just comboed them all out there. Forward. The group's total in assassination is three. Sorry, the putrid smell that assaults you, uh, assaults you is unmistakable. These are the peatlands where slimy marsh dragons are found. They're aggressive creatures with dangerous acidic breath. Be careful. We could clean it up and get 30 extra reputation with the peasants and five prestige points. Or we could find half as many of them in order to get a lower threat by two, not three. No, I think we, uh, I think we totally get more reputation than the peasants. Nice. Uh, forward on. The Wandering Architect. This is a good one. This is a good one. We must protect you. Our elementalism is at least 10, so we can uh, prepare some fire spells because they do not like that. Guess there's a little bit of arcane mana. Uh-oh, Emily. Uh-oh. Thankfully you healed up instantaneously. Our back line has taken damage that I am not gonna be able to heal very effectively. Can you build an alchemy? No, I don't care about alchemy in our school. I can get four gazebos and an eternity vase, and those are very good for our prestige. Uh, or I could get the dormitories, the student halls, and the refectory, the things that I actually need. Yeah. 
I think I go forward. I'm, I'm going to need to bail out relatively soon, though. I don't have much defense. Some goblins are gathered around a fire, seemingly preparing a large chicken. Oh, we can get a dungeon card of a phoenix feather by fighting them, which would heal someone back to life. So now I can go a little bit further into the dungeon because Eloise can come back. On the floor, you find in the middle of the corridor, pentagrams. So, well, we've got to know this. Our students know a lot about demons. Perfect. This will be a piece of cake. Uh, yeah, a demonic chamber and a pentacle seems pretty good for us. Two level eight demons? Yeah. Oh, they're well defended. Oh, they're well dead. Let's go forward. Archmage Septimus's journal, the diary, the private diary of Archmage Septimus. Archmage Septimus built this tower long ago. His thoughts were thought to be invaluable. Forget the journal. Let's get what we can from the room. The elementals don't seem to care. We could just get the plain telescope. Hmm. If the group's elementalism is at least 10, we only fight four level ones and get four prestige points as well. Our elementals should be able to handle some elementals. It's their job, isn't it? So instead of level 20s, we're fighting level ones. Yeah, I'll do that. The Archmage's journal reacts to your touch. It's magically protected and starting to erase itself. You have little time to choose a chapter about the Archmage's life to read. We could read about Posthumus, who is the skull that we've been talking to earlier. Uh, we could focus on the chapter about the tower's construction or learn about the potions he invented. Potions he invented is going to be alchemy. Tower's construction is going to be rooms. I kind of want to learn a bit about Posthumus. According to the Septimus's journal, your skull mentor Posthumus dabbled in demonic magic and was looking into some dangerous rituals. It even seems he was friends with Lord of the Evil a very long time ago. What horror! We won't make the same mistake. Get 2,000 light matter. What? And two chambers of truth. Or, hell yeah! Everybody makes mistakes. What kind of demonic spells are we talking about? Oh, I hate when people upload the site sites. What, what kind of those sites? Yeah, but which specific site did they upload it to? And yes, I'm getting 3,800 because I actually have boosts. That seems pretty good. I'm going to continue. A group of goblins are... has at least two crypts. Oh, I finally had two crypts. I guess that's a very small amount of shadow mana still. A group of goblins are guarding the room. They do not seem the negotiating type. Because I have 12 elementalism, I can burn them. Burnt. Mortuary chamber. I gotta have something here. The vast hall is silent and dark, and the alcoves hold graves marked with runic symbols. The room center is an altar with offerings. We could get a crypt. If we fight two more specters, we could get gold. That's a lot of gold. As well as a crypt and a skull. Let's offer something so the occupants will appreciate us or not touch anything. Are you planning for the students to survive? Oh, they're not going to survive this, are they? Whew, they did. Oh, again, we can do the same elemental thing we did last time with lower level enemies. Because we have so many things, uh, so many stats that are giving us specific bonuses in this dungeon, I really just want to push as hard as I possibly can. Now, what did we get when we learned about Posthumus before? We got, like, a bunch of Shadow Matter. Maybe I want a bunch more Shadow Matter. Is that what I want? Infinite Shadow Matter? I don't know. It could be. And Demon Rooms, you're not wrong. A bit of Demonology involved in there, too. But I kind of want to know what all of these are. This bottom one's going to be Alchemy, though construction. If our druidism was at least 12, we would be able to get this option for a lot of natural manner and dolmen. But because we couldn't, we just get natural manner and dolmen. Okay, I didn't want that one. Forward. Oh, it's this, this goddamn journal again! I can't stop reading for the life of me! I'm hooked on phonics! Uh... <laughs> Alright, tell me about the potions he invented this time. This will all be useful. Two cards, component supply, two cards, demonic desolation, two cards, filtered power, and a scale. 
There's nothing we can do. It's sad. Their gold is useless by now. I'll take the gold. Move forward again. Uh, a large empty room with a gorgeous fountain covered in plants and flowers. The vital essence throwing fluid is intangible. We could get some healing. Healing is not really relevant to us right now. We'll take the uh, bit of energy. If we had 12, we could get an aquarium, though. Neighborhood problems. A gigantic room. Two groups of creatures are fighting and they suddenly want to involve you. Gro goblins and elementals have always lived in peace here. The overpopulations have co uh, created conflict and it's starting to get heated. Let's massacre them all. This doesn't concern us. Easy. Let's give the villagers lands to the goblins. <sighs> um, I think I just... This doesn't concern us, and then I leave. We're done. We're done. We got 32 prestige. We got 4,000 shadow mana, 1,600 gold, 6,400 natural mana. We got 40 reputation with the peasants, 10 reputation with the adventurers guild, and we got a whole mess of rooms. I think like that went pretty well. I think it went okay. I got, I got high hopes in this one. Demonic chambers. I think I'm gonna stack all those bad boys. Now you can do that. I have a lot of students. I could get more crypts, right? Could I get more crypts? Hmm. I'll think about that in a moment. Before we do that, though, let's go back to the student hall. Hmm. We'll definitely stack one of those. Do I stack a second? Seachoff, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. Enjoy your and chat. Welcome to the Republic. care about upgrading those dormitories or do I just want two more dormitories it's possible I just want two more dormitories right these are gonna be relatively inaccessible but I could put one there and then one there like actually just like no but they're not really distributed what I would want to do is start building them out here somewhere I can actually see that. We'll hold off on that for a moment. Uh, component supply. Active characters in uh, the room have a chance of creating component supplies. Sure, we'll put one of those in pretty much all of the demonic rooms, I think, because we've got a couple of them. Filtered power. 200 arcane. 200 arcane. 200 shadow. 200 shadow. All poke. Hey, one seven Zek. I, I I warned you about that, bud. Please don't. Uh, where do I drop the scale? Honestly, basically anywhere. You go into the the janitor's office. It's not a massive loss. You're right. It's st it still feels bad. Uh, druidism skills. Do I even want to train druidism? Maybe I want to get rid of this. I really want to put a crypt next to a crypt. Oh, I can't even put it there. Well, what would go on the other side of this then? Druidism is one that's even. Druidism is the one, sorry, that's even remotely, uh, remotely useful for you, right? I don't. No. Druidism. I don't have any artifacts making it so. I don't think. Let's go to the statistics. 
Yeah, no, I turned down the artifact that made it so. There was something that was druidism paired with something, but I turned it down. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use all the natural mana to buy stuff from the gin. I'm actually going to screw the dolmen. No dolmen for me. Thank you. Let's draw from the standard deck. Uh, private bedroom? I guess? I guess. Could have kept the Dolmen card to discard for Inquisition. That's true, but the Inquisition hasn't really come after me that much. Maybe they're about to, but if they are, like, I really kind of want to get all of these out of hand. Gigwine asks, hey Raps, glad to be able to catch you streaming for once. Uh, glad to be caught. Uh, just wondering if there's going to be any more Tainted Grail on YouTube. Yes, there's a... It's not Berserker, is it? No, it's not Berserker. It's... Zealot? Sentinel? Lich, Blood Mage. There's a, uh, there's, there's a Necromancer. That's it. There's a Necromancer run still coming. Uh, it's a very good one as well. <laughs> 